Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the forex pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. So in gold market, actually price just has completed the setup that we discussed recently. So yesterday actually we talked about the possible entry on the long side, but uh, as we said, currently market stands at the resistance, hits some target, and for a long entry it would be better to wait for a reasonable pullback, especially in the current background, as I said, uh, it is very probable that might happen. Um, as you know that the recent CPI report was not very inspiring, so despite that the nominal rate uh, was almost the same, but it's, uh, I mean, not the same according to the expectation, but at the same time it has raised for 1%, so to the 8.5. Uh, and uh, the fact that the core CPI was a bit better than expected, well, it provides re low reasons for celebration guys so actually it might be just the noise in the statistics some minor improvement especially because this core CPI was mostly in a row with the expectations and that of course uh, just has led to the volatility that led gold to complete the target that we have specified so it would be better to watch on uh, futures on the futures it looks much better uh, just uh, then you will compare the futures price with the retail broker and you'll see the big difference so that was what, that what we talked about recently this ABCD and we warned that be aware of the possible spike to complete the OP it might happen and it's very probable that it might happen in the shape of the butterfly if you intend to take the long, short position please stop for advance of this possible action or wait when the special will be completed so that's uh, what we talked about recently and it uh, happens very often when the market uh, tends to complete the target that is not reached yet despite that it makes some signs of the possible reversal as it was recently so now if you have taken the position you could just watch what will happen uh, watching for the pullback uh, with this passion so the setup that we discussed here is mostly is done uh, speaking about the long entry personally i would consider level around uh, 1944, 1940, just because this is confluence, uh, it's, it has moved slightly higher. It's just because uh, market has created the new top. And also, guys, take a look. This is multiple previous tops. So here was some spike. This again, this again. It was support after that, and now it should be support again. So that seems. A uh, good area at least to consider for taking long position here on hourly chart, maybe on perspective on the daily chart as well. So this is what about the, taking the uh, bullish position. For the bearish position, I would I, we have said that um, this market should complete this one. But this acceleration still, guys, I have some worries that after mine and pullback, it might be another spike to the 1618 extension, which is also risks at least for that exist because here is just 127 and that was spike relatively fast but it not always happens so for instance you could uh, place initial stop above this area this market start dropping then move it lower so this is also possible on the four hour time frame chart you can see that market has broken for the confluence that we have specified with 1963 1965 area but that might be just because of the existence of the op target this happens very often so the market just moved high and uh, hit the target that stands slightly behind the level and then starts overall reaction on the resistance which creates an agreement to the confluence resistance um, so by the way we have, we have the divergence here right as you can see here is also an hourly chart minor divergence exists right here with these two spikes so it seems that the chance on the pullback still exists. That's our view. So if you would like to go short, you could try to mess with this butterfly, um, taking the position with the pullback. But as our primary trend right now stands bullish, we are mostly watching for 
taking the long position, considering ways how it might could be done here. And the first area that we intend to keep an eye on is around 1940.